Let's go to John 11. Let's go to 2022. And this is one of my favorite passages of scripture. Lazarus has died. Lazarus has died. Martha is heartbroken. She's heartbroken. That's John 11, 20 to 22. They tell Martha, Jesus is here. So she runs to Jesus and she says these words. Lord, had you been here, my brother would not have died. Had you got here earlier, because he was sick, you could have healed him. He would not have died if you had gotten here earlier. But then notice faith. Faith in spite of suffering and despair. Yet even now, this is 22, I love this verse. Yet even now, I know God will give you whatever you ask. You understand what she means? Because although he's dead, death is not more powerful than you. That even now, if you ask the Father, he'll give you my brother back from death. Even now, if you ask God, my brother will rise and won't have to stay dead. But notice what she says. She knew this much about Jesus. God will give you whatever you ask. Not most of the things... Not some of the things. Everything your heart desires, Jesus, the Father will give it to you. And Jesus confirms she's right. Because in John 11, 41, 42, we skip down a couple of verses later. John 11, 41, 42. Notice what our Lord says. He's looking up to heaven. He goes, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I knew you always hear me. Did Jesus say you hear me sometimes? Most of the time? You always hear me. So then why are you praying? Here's why. But I say this for their sake that they may know that you sent me. I'm not praying because I have doubt whether you're going to hear me. I say it, it happens. I say it and you do it in the nanosecond. Whatever I say you do because that's how much you love me and I have no doubt. So then why are you saying this? So the people around me will see how much you love me. So the people around me will see who I am. I'm your beloved son sent by you with your authority. And whatever I want, you give me. I want them to see this, not me. I want them to believe this, not me. I know who I am. I'm the one that you love and adore more than anything. But I want them to believe. So by believing, they may be one with us. And when he says, Lazarus comes out, he came out right. But then go back to verse 23. Even now I know, God will give you whatever you ask. Whatever you ask for, God will give it to you. And notice his words in 23. Your brother shall rise again. Now she's thinking the last day on the day of resurrection, all the dead, yes Lord, I know that at the last day, day of resurrection, God will raise him. And then some of those powerful words ever uttered by Jesus in 25. He says, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he who believes and lives shall never die. And my favorite part of the verse is not what Jesus said. I'm the resurrection life. Here's my favorite part of the verse. You guys from camp should remember this because I emphasize this. Do you believe this? See, it comes down to, do you believe who I am? Do you trust me? Do you take me at my word? And if I've asked for you, you better believe you're mine. So if I said to the Father, Father... I want Albert to be with me forever in my presence. Guess what? <laughs> Guaranteed, Albert's going to be with Jesus. Father, I want Nasser to be with me in my presence forever. <laughs> Guaranteed, Nasser's going to heaven. Whoever Jesus prays for ends up in heaven. Whoever Jesus prays for ends up experiencing immortal life in his presence forever. So you know what your hope is? You know what your prayer is? He's praying for you. Lord Jesus, I pray that you utter my name before the Father. And, and can you imagine if Jesus says to the Father, Father, Sam Shalom is mine. And the Father says, of course he is. And he's yours forever. Father, Lurleen, she's mine. And he says, of course she is. And she is yours forever. 